Hello, I'm Archie Luxury. Welcome to the program, fuckers. Hello, hello, fuckers. And today I want to talk about handling, handling the wife or partner. Now, before I go on, please remember, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And uh, quick whist, watch, check. And we're in the Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. Polar. And today I want to talk about, so I just came back from New Zealand. And I want to talk about handling, handling partner pressure. Now I sold my, uh, well actually it wasn't mine. It was so I sold a white gold world tie. I sold it. I put it on my channel and I sold it. I had a fantastic buyer in New Zealand, New Zealand. And uh, he's a really cool guy, really, really cool guy. Cool guy, really nice, young guy. Uh, he's in real estate. He's an Auckland estate agent, doing really well. Really nice guy, lovely guy, Japanese, really cool. And I sold it to him and uh, he was the perfect gentleman. He came out, picked me up from the airport, drove me to my hotel. We did the deal. Took me out for dinner, we had some laughs, a few drinks, and one of the things I said to him was I said, Oh, have, what does your wife think of your new paddock? Your new paddock well time. And he was very hesitant. He hadn't told her anything. And then the next day, I met him for lunch. He said, hey, let's have lunch, let's have lunch. I mean, I'm an international YouTube celebrity. Many people want to have lunch with me. And I said, oh, what did the wife say? Because, oh, haven't told her. And uh, this Japanese man is very, very clever. Because when you tell the Mrs. Erindors, she who must be obeyed, these women turn into nasty bitches. They can turn into really nasty, vicious bitches. And, you know, it's quite an interesting thing, I tell you what, to be honest with you. I've seen the same thing. I remember when I was buying my gold submariner. And, uh, actually when I bought my paddock, my 5107, I should say. And I, t I was married at the time. And I told her, hey, I want to get a paddock. And I showed her the money. And I said, jokingly, should we get an investment house? Or should I get a paddock? And I was just joking. I was just fucking with her. I was just fucking around. And she kind of turned rather nasty when I said, Nah, fuck it. I want the paddock. And uh, I got to tell you, these women, fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Double fuck me dead. They turn into really nasty, vicious bitches. As soon as you tell them, hey, I was thinking about buying a watch, but I'm also thinking about buying a, uh, an investment house together. What do you reckon? Oh, these nasty bitches, <laughs> they turn mean. They turn really mean. And uh, I gotta fucking tell you, you can't joke with these bitches, they turn nasty. So, the guy I sold my world time to, he has no intention of excitedly announcing it to his wife. And I think he's probably a very wise, very, very wise man. That's the reason he drives an E63. And I drive a Honda Civic. Because he's very, very clever. He knows these bitches don't need to know everything. Why do you need to invite the evil inside? As soon as you say, honey, hey, I'm just joking around. I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm a comic actor. And as soon as you say to these bitches, ah, should we get a, uh, a new, should we do a new kitchen, new holiday, a Birkin, Hermes Birkin, or... I might get a, a watch for myself. Ah, oh, these bitches there, as soon as they can smell the money within their grasp, they will fucking turn on you. 
they will fucking turn on you. So uh, my, my advice is realistically, realistically, I would be very, very fucking careful how you announce a holy grail to your wife. Uh, it's these bitches turn really fucking nasty. And I'm, I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, a uh, Explorer 2 or a Speedy. I'm talking about big fuck off holy grail, like a $20,000 Patek, a uh, solid gold sub. That sort of purchase you need to be a little bit careful about. You need to be diplomatic. See, these bitches, these bitches turn really, really nasty. And I, I've been there myself. i got to be honest with you. I've been there, and they don't quite see the funny side. No, as soon as you say, what do you think about buying an investment? I had no fucking, I, I didn't want a fucking investment house. I don't want some cunt ringing me up telling me the hot water system's gone or some fucking dog is shit all over the lounge room. I don't fucking want that. I don't fucking want that garbage. But as soon as you say to these women, hey, what do you think about... Buying a joint investment house it has, it has the deposit. Fuck! They can smell it. They, they, they don't see the funny side. Whereas for me, see, I kind of, I kind of play it cool. I like to play it cool. And I kind of like to say, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look, honey. But no, no sense of humor. And I think sometimes it's probably a good idea not to tell her about the grail purchase. Just shut up about it. Say, oh yeah, it's a friend of mine's watch. I'm just looking after it for a while. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a paddock. Yeah, it's, it's gold, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to play it, fuckers. And if you get white gold, you can say, it's steel, it's steel. Uh, so, you know, I, I think it's a very wise idea to be, to be a little bit coy about it. Otherwise, these bitches will turn nasty. They fucking will turn nasty. And uh, it's no fucking laugh. I like to joke around, and, and but these bitches, they don't see the funny side. Announcing a holy grail. See, you're much better off to say, Oh, I buy and sell a beer. That's what pays for the family holiday. That's a much better idea than to say, Hey, I got my grail. It's a keeper. I'm not going to fucking sell it. You know, that's not a good idea. you got to be sensible. Because these bitches, they want their pound of flesh. They want their pound of flesh, fuckers. That's right. They kind of don't see the funny side. So, uh, yeah, fuckers. That's, um, that's the Archie Luxury way of looking at things. So, what do you do? How do you bring a home a grail? How do you do it? How do you stop that smile on your face? And uh, I think you've got to be a bit careful. I like my Japanese friend. He's very, very cool about it. Just... Be cool, because there ain't no fun with these bitches when they don't like you. I'm Archie Luxury, discussing bringing home a grail. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. <laughs>